Welcome low ego action heroes. I'm Debbie Levitt from DeltaCX.com, a full service CX and UX agency. And the question I'm asking myself today would be, what would happen if we usability tested design thinking? What would happen if we did observational research and interviews? And what would happen if we did the user-centered design process on design thinking? What would we learn about what's working and what's not working? What would we learn about what's going right and what's going wrong? And I have a link to remind myself. This is a post I put on LinkedIn a year ago or more. And I linked to an article called Why Design Thinking is Failing in Most Organizations. And it's from a famous agency called Frog. Now, ultimately, Frog does plug themselves in the post. So uh, again, you have to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt, but they are saying they're finding design thinking is failing. And, and what I wrote on LinkedIn says, this article says design thinking isn't doing well in most orgs and especially ones with lower UX maturity. I infer that design thinking was not able to increase UX maturity at these companies, yet I often see it positioned as a mindset, method, or paradigm that will increase the maturity at a company. If design thinking were undergoing UX testing, it would fail. We'd be scrapping it or iterating. It doesn't produce the design organizations we want, the CX and UX respect we need, our place at the table, the customer centricity our businesses require, quality over speed. The article shouldn't say that design thing isn't work. The, the article shouldn't say that design thinking isn't working, so let's try harder to get it adopted. If we had our UX hats on, we'd say, oh, this isn't working for us or organizations. We'll need to change it or throw it away. So that's my thought for today is what would happen if we applied proper human-centered design to whatever design thinking claims to be this week? Would we find that it's broken? Would we find that it's working? Would we find that the people who get pulled into exercises and workshops are happy to stop doing their work for hours or days to be part of uh, doing our work for and with us? So many questions. And again, this is where you have to put that critical thinking hat on and ask yourself, if design thinking is evangelizing itself, and if design thinking is not raising the UX maturity at companies, then what have we done? And how fast can we undo it? Because many people got into design thinking hoping that it would get people excited about UX. But, you know, I can't get you excited about vegetarianism by serving you pork. So I think we're going to have to rethink what design thinking was supposed to be and who it's supposed to be for, because I don't think this whole evangelism thing has really worked out. So just a couple of random thoughts. Thanks for listening. You can subscribe here on the YouTube channel and watch us on Twitch. I'm now streaming there as DeltaCX.com, all one word written out. Empathize with the like button and let YouTube know you like stuff like this. You can also join our free Slack workspace and optional tip jar. Thanks and see you in the next video.